let's talk about today the gate 28. So I have such a bugaboo for this gate. Now, let me just start by saying I don't have this one defined in my chart, but I love lots and lots of people who do. I, I actually, my youngest son has his son, his conscious son is in the gate 28 in line six, which is called the blaze of glory. So we're going to talk about the gate 28. In traditional human design, we call this the gate of struggle. And in quantum human design, we call this the gate of adventure or challenge. And it's definitely a gate. If you have this defined in your chart, you totally probably relate to the word struggle. I don't think I've ever done a reading for someone who has the gate 28 defined who doesn't relate to struggle. It's kind of like a gate that embodies the energy of the third line profile, right? We know the third line is an experiential learner, right? If you have a three in your profile, or if you're a young six line profile, if you're a six line profile who's younger than 30, you probably really relate to the phrase trial and error, right? I don't like to use that phrase because it implies that there's some kind of a mistake or wrongness about the experiential learning process, and there isn't. So if you are a third line profile, you literally never made a mistake in your life. You have to try everything to see what works and what doesn't. And the gate 28 is kind of like that too. It's an energy that is what we call mutative or it's part of individual circuitry or I call that transformational circuitry in quantum human design. The gate 28 is part of individual circuitry. So it's an energy that brings change. All right. It's connected to the 38, which is actually where the energy for a visionary leader lives. So the fifth line in profiles is called the visionary leader in quantum human design. So this 2838 in a really interesting way, and, and I'm saying this, and this is a little bit above some of you, if you're just learning human design, just plug your ears and don't listen to this. I'm not trying to confuse you, but you know, really there's only a handful of archetypes in the chart. Yeah, there's 64 lines, there's all these circuits, there's centers, there's types, but really if we start looking at what do they all mean, we're really looking at about nine core diamonds and then a bunch of little facets on that diamond. The themes of the chart actually repeat themselves in a lot of different ways in many different layers. So this gate 28 and the electromagnetic, the 38, it's kind of like the embodiment in the circuitry of the three, five profile. There's exploring, there's experiencing, there's trying things, there's trying things that don't always work, there's trying things that really do work. And the purpose of that adventure, the gate 28, is to cultivate and craft a deep sense of what's really worth fighting for. The gate 28 has to explore and experience and be challenged by life. And, and actually people who have this defined, and this is kind of foreign to me because I don't have this defined, but actually people who have this defined, they actually kind of seek out the challenge. They like it, right? They like to be challenged. They like to get out of their comfort zone. They like things like mountain climbing and uh, rappelling and some, some of them, not all of them, but some of them do. It's that challenge and pushing against the edges of the story of possibility in the human experience that allows the person who is using this energy to really explore what's really meaningful in life. And how do I craft that understanding of what's really meaningful in life? to build a bigger vision of what's possible in the human story. You know, this is the place where if we look at archetypes and metaphors and heroes who have lived before, Martin Luther King was a perfect embodiment of this energy, right? He knew there was challenges involved in his mission. He knew that there were risks involved in this mission, but the mission itself was big enough and valuable enough and important enough to be willing to push against the challenges and the potential adventures struggle that he knew was ahead of him to really get into the full expression of the potential of that dream becoming manifest. So if you carry this energy, part of your life purpose is to use your own challenges and struggles to better lead and guide and teach others to be able to share from your own experiences what works and what doesn't and what's really worth fighting for, if you will. Now, the shadow of this energy is the fear that life has no meaning or that whatever you're working on is meaningless. And also the fear that it might end up being too hard, that there might be too much of a struggle. And so oftentimes, if you have this gate defined in your chart, you might find that you hold yourself back because you're afraid that it's going to be too hard or that it's not going to be worth the effort and you're going to end up exhausted and depleted and suffering 
which by the way, there's no suffering designed in the chart. There's nothing in the chart that says you're designed to suffer. You're not, but there's a fear that you could. And that fear of the suffering or the fear that it's too hard can really hold you back, that it can keep you from taking that leap. And, you know, the reality of, of, of the life with someone who has the 28 is that no matter how calculated and careful you are, there will be a certain amount of experiential learning that happens with this energy. And that's not personal. It's not failing. It's not screwing up. You didn't do it wrong. It's your job to find the challenge. It's your job through experiencing the challenge to help others avoid the challenge. And it's your job through this challenge to learn to cultivate an important understanding of what's really worth struggling for or what's really worth being challenged by. And when you can understand that, then you lead people to something new. You transform them from your own journey of transformation. So as I said, I have some people in my life who, you know, I, my husband has this, I have a son who has this defined, I have my youngest daughter has this defined, my middle daughter has this defined. Um, it, it, it's a, it's a gate that I'm, I watch a lot. <laughs> and, and, you know, it is always kind of interesting to see the path that people with the 28 will take, because it, it's often a path that I personally would be like, I'm not doing that. That looks terrifying. But there's a certain amount of joy and even um, curiosity, if you will, about the challenge and a need to explore the challenge as part of the learning process. 